Hello and welcome to another cryptocurrency video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an exchange and how to buy your new favourite coin. Below I've got some timestamps if you want to just skip to that part and hopefully you learn something new from this video. Enjoy. So I want to start this video off with a word of warning about exchanges and how you need to be careful when you're using an exchange. You need to know that exchanges at the moment are centralised which means it is a business, it is owned, it is an owned business. So if that decide, if that business such as Bitrex decide to go down, then they can take your, their, your coins with them and you won't be able to get them back, which is obviously heartbreaking. At the moment, I'm actually going through a little situation with Bitrex, as are hundreds of thousands of other people by the looks of it. And um, hopefully they're gonna solve the situation soon, but it's just it's just really frustrating and I'll, I'll hopefully do a whole video on that um pretty soon but behind me i here have i have mount gox here in front of you um this is one of the most well-known hacks to ever have happened basically they hacked the exchange taking 450 million dollars worth a lot of people lost bitcoin back in the day and today that, that would be worth a lot of money today so just a word of warning using these centralized exchanges at the moment and uh just Put your money in, do your trade, take your coin out and just be in and out as quickly as you can. Now moving on into the future, we're going to have decentralized exchanges and I just want to quickly cover what a decentralized exchange is. Okay, so in short, a decentralized exchange is different from a centralized exchange because of when you put your funds into a centralized exchange, they have hold of it. It is in their wallets. Okay, so if they decide to shut down, they take it with them. Um, same with trading when you put up a trade it's in their wallet until someone decides they want to buy it okay so we're, but what a decentralized exchange is going to do is it's in your possession so it's going to link to your wallet and when you decide that you want to sell it for that price it's going to swap okay so you're selling your ethereum for bitcoin it's going to come out of your wallet onto onto the decentralized exchange well, not even onto the decentralized exchange. It's going to go from your wallet to the other person's wallet. It's going to be peer to peer. There's going to be no middleman. The exchange is just there as a platform that just switches it over. Okay. So, looking at a decentralized exchange coming up that I really like the look of is Kyber Network. Now, here it is on Coin Market Cap. You can you can buy shares in Kyber Network. Um, I'm not sure what the tokens are going to do. If they will do anything, it's something that I need to look into more. Um, they have a really great website, really clear video here explaining how um, the the Kyber network is going to work. They have a great roadmap here, quarter one, 2018. They're going to start main mainnet launch, and you know it's going to you know not far away to be honest, not far away at all. So worth looking into if you want to put your money into something. I'm definitely putting my money into Kyber network with my recent troubles with Bitrex. Can't come quick enough. But um, here's the team. And here's our main guy on the team. So the the creator behind Ethereum, the, the genius, which is Vitalik. And yeah, overall, the crypto space needs a really safe, secure, decentralized exchange for us to change our um, cryptos on. I just rewatched my video and I realized that I forgot to mention this. Um, when you create your account on the exchanges, you should always enable two-factor authentication. This links to your phone, you just have to write in the code and it just gives you a bit more security on your account. Okay, so you've dived a bit further down the rabbit hole and you've realized that there's more coins than just Litecoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin on Coinbase. And now you wanna work out, how can I get my hands on these other coins? Well, you're gonna to have to go to an exchange. And going on an exchange for the first time can be quite an overwhelming thing. I remember when I first went on it, I had the chart there, which I didn't know anything about. I had the order book. I had the boxes there that I didn't know where I was gonna buy, where I was gonna sell, where to type anything, and I didn't have a clue. So naturally, I went on YouTube, learned a few things, and now I know how to use an exchange pretty well. Same as what you're gonna be able to do after this video. And if you do, make sure you leave a like, yeah, because I've put so much bloody time into this video. Just leave a like and it will fucking help me out. So anyway, you've chose your coin that you want to get into. I'm going to recommend coming to coinmarketcap.com and this is where you can find where your coin is trading. So what exchange you're going to go to to buy your coin. Today, I'm going to choose Stellar because I did a trade with Stellar earlier and I feel like it would be a good example to show you. 
So here we have uh, the ticket name for Stellar. So this is what it will show up as on exchanges. And if you scroll down to here and click markets, it's going to show you what exchanges Stellar is trading on. So here's all the big ones, Bittrex, Poloniex, Pol um, Binance, Kraken. And uh, it shows you how much volume is going through it. So how much money is going through it and how much that exchange is taken up. So most of the uh, percent is going through Bittrex, which is one of the number one exchanges. So once you figure that out, you want to go ahead over to Bittrex. Here we are on Bittrex. Next up, you're going to want to search for your coin. So XLM. Uh, XLM. Here we go. Stellar. I'm still calling it Stellar Lumens. <coughs> okay, so once this loads up, we are going to be on the Stellar trade page. And uh, let's get rid of that. And as you can see, Stella's done pretty well recently. Well, I don't know if you know that because you might be such a newbie. You don't even know what this stuff means. <laughs> okay, so I've shrunk my fat head down a little bit to give you a clearer view of the trade page. And uh, I'm just going to do a really quick run through on what this stuff means. Okay, really basic. So here we have uh, the time on what you want each one of these sticks to represent. Each one of these sticks is called a candlestick and uh, if it's green there was more brought and if it's red there was more sold. Um, here is a little V. This is the volume in Bitcoin that went through that candlestick at that moment. So in this half hour there was 233 Bitcoins that went through it. Here Stella's had a really nice run up again. I was thinking about buying some but I'm making this video. So it's had a little gain there, but um, yeah, so here in this one, 105 Bitcoins worth has gone for it so far in this half hour. Okay, so let's um, change this to a 15 minute candlestick and you can see that it's making a nice pattern here. And yeah, I'm not going to get into that anyway, I'm getting carried away. Um, see, so here you have the last price. So down at this side is the price in Satoshi and here is the time. So let's say that I wanted to buy some Stella. I thought I was getting a good price for it. I think it's going to go up so later I can sell it and make some more Bitcoin. So, or you want to buy it and hold it, you know, you can be a hodler. And uh, so this is what you would do. So currently I have 0.3 blah, blah, blah Bitcoin in my account. Um, and you don't have to trade with it all. You can set off a little bit. So I want to, I want to pay the last price. I want to get in really quick. I want to, buy it but I only want to spend 0.1's worth of Bitcoin so about a thousand pound worth of Bitcoin I think uh, so I'd get 8,727 stellar lumens for that okay um, if I wanted to get a bit cheaper if I see the price is at oh it's dropping 1138 I want to get it a bit cheaper so I think it's going to come down to 1000 I should be able to get more for my money here we change this back to 0 0.1. So from 8,000, we will now get in 9,000 lumens. And if you want to do it, you just click buy lumen. If it comes to that price and uh, there's enough people wanting to sell it at that price, you're going to get it at that price. It's as simple as that. Same on the sale side. If you want to sell yours, your amount, you put in the amount of Stella you want to sell at what price and this will tell you a total in bitcoin and you sell it just run over these things real quick this is the order book so this is what people are willing to this is their bid so this won't be the actual sell price this will be normally a bit lower than the actual sell price because they're trying to get it a bit cheaper and these are what people are asking for so the people selling it they're asking for this price and normally you'll see these being a bit higher than these ones and down here we have the market history so this is what is actually going through these are trades that are actually confirmed to happen and here we have the price so how much they are actually going through for so this person has brought that much uh, has paid that much for 598 at that 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 amount of bitcoin they have spent on it basically and down here is your order history so we can use my trade earlier as an example i brought stella at 930 satoshis and then i sold it at 1220 satoshis here we have how much i made so i i spent 0.259 bitcoin on it and after i sold my stellar 
I managed to get 0.338 Bitcoin for it. Super basic, super simple. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. I want to make I want to make it clear that I'm not the best trader. Okay, <laughs> I don't know inside and out of trades, so I'll do my best to answer it. So that was my quick run through on trading and exchanges. Um, I know there's so much more information I could have gone through, but I really just wanted to make it quickly for new traders getting into it. I chose Bittrex because I actually do like the Bittrex layout. It's one of my favorite layouts, but they just need to work on a few things. And as soon as decentralized exchanges come out, I don't think there's going to be much space for Bittrex and these centralized exchanges. Um, be sure to come follow me over on Twitter. I put out little tweets about what coins I like the look of and uh, my overall thoughts in the crypto space. And subscribe and like if you learned something and tell me to fuck off and dislike if you didn't like anything. Thank you for watching.